as you look into the immense expanse of space and watch the shimmering motion of countless stars. Each one seems to pose a silent question that has troubled humanity for centuries. Are we truly alone in the universe? Recently, a revolutionary device was sent into orbit, the James Webb Space Telescope. This state-of-the-art tool functions like a powerful lens, providing unmatched sharpness in uncovering the complex details of faraway worlds. Not long ago, the James Webb Telescope turned its attention to a fascinating object, K2-18b, a mysterious planet outside our solar system. Early findings ignited excitement throughout the scientific world. This was no ordinary planet. K2-18b showed traces of water vapor, a possible sign of habitability, and also contained a molecule that sparked deep scientific interest, one typically linked with biological activity on Earth. Could this be the discovery that changes everything, the verification of life beyond our planet? This exploration dives into the mysteries of K2-18b, examining the scientific hurdles and profound consequences that could change our perception of existence. Situated about 120 light-years away, K2-18b has been classified as a super-Earth and also fits into a group called subneptunes, planets larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune, which do not match any known categories in our solar system. This makes them difficult for scientists to fully understand. While rocky planets like Earth and Mars serve as templates for comparison, and gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn provide loose parallels, subneptunes remain largely unexplored and puzzling. Current observations present some intriguing possibilities. K2-18b orbits its red dwarf star, K2-18, within the zone where temperatures might allow liquid water to exist. However, unlike Earth, K2-18b is much closer to its star. One astronomical unit, AU, represents the distance between Earth and the Sun, but K2-18b is only about 18 cents from its host star, even closer than Mercury. Despite this, the red dwarf emits less heat than the Sun, preventing the planet from overheating and allowing vaporized water to be detected in its air. An extraordinary finding that implies possible biological activity similar to that on Earth. Beyond water vapor, the telescope also identified methane and carbon dioxide in the planet's atmosphere. Methane is particularly significant because it breaks down quickly in the presence of solar radiation, so its presence suggests a continuous source, potentially biological. Even more noteworthy was the possible detection of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, a compound known on Earth to be produced almost entirely by microorganisms, especially those in ocean environments. DMS is regarded as a strong biosignature, and its presence on K2-18b would be a substantial clue that microbial life might exist elsewhere in the cosmos. For life to thrive, the planet must be exposed to tolerable radiation levels and exist in a temperature range suitable for liquid water. If K2-18b maintains a stable atmosphere, it's possible the surface conditions resemble those on Earth though its hydrogen-rich atmosphere may lead to slightly warmer oceans. The short distance between the planet and its star may help retain surface water. An important detail, as recent studies suggest that liquid water might be a key trait of so-called Hycean planets, ocean-covered worlds like K2-18b. In 2021, astrophysicist Niku Madhusudhan introduced the idea of Hycean worlds, a class of exoplanets described in a study published in the Astrophysical Journal. These are thought to be subneptunes enveloped in thick hydrogen dense atmospheres with potentially massive oceans beneath. Hycean planets can have up to 10 times Earth's mass and about double its diameter. Despite temperatures nearing 200 degrees Celsius, they wouldn't necessarily be scorching hot. Their defining feature could be an immense water layer, perhaps making up 90% of the planet's total mass. Theoretically, such environments could sustain microbial life. Their thick atmospheres trap heat from their stars, permitting water to remain in liquid form over a wider range of distances compared to rocky planets. Because of their size, Hycean worlds are also easier to detect, making them leading targets in the hunt for extraterrestrial life. Dr. Madhusudhan's team continues to examine K2-18b using the James Webb Space Telescope. Yet even with its cutting-edge instruments, identifying ocean worlds is incredibly challenging. 
Crucial insights into K2-18B were gathered through carefully scheduled observations. Five hours of data collected during two sessions. The most critical period occurred when K2-18B passed directly in front of its star from Earth's viewpoint, an event called a transit. During this event, the telescope captured light passing through the planet's atmosphere. This method is valuable because the starlight carries a distinct chemical fingerprint after passing through atmospheric gases. By separating the light into individual wavelengths, similar to how a prism creates a rainbow, scientists can pinpoint specific molecules. Missing or altered wavelengths reveal essential information about the atmosphere's composition, helping to construct a more complete view of the planet's environment. Now, imagine a scenario where the lines between fiction and fact begin to blur. A planet 124 light years away, orbiting a red dwarf in the Leo constellation. This is K2-18b, a sub-Neptune that has captivated both scientists and the general public. The term Hycean was coined to describe such planets, larger than Earth, covered in thick atmospheres and possibly vast oceans, making them excellent candidates in the search for life beyond our world. The James Webb Space Telescope, built to look deeper into the cosmos than any previous instrument, has offered exceptional detail about distant exoplanets. Its advanced tools enabled researchers to identify gases like methane and carbon dioxide in K2-18BS atmosphere. While these gases can suggest biological processes, since they often appear together in life-bearing environments on Earth, they can also result from non-living processes, meaning further analysis is essential. The potential detection of dimethyl sulfide is perhaps the most fascinating development. On Earth, DMS comes almost exclusively from marine microbes and finding it in high concentrations, reportedly thousands of times higher than Earth's levels, adds an extra layer of intrigue. However, scientists remain cautious. The strength of the DMS signal is at a three-sigma confidence level, which is encouraging but not definitive. Additionally, the chance that DMS might arise through unknown chemical pathways unrelated to life cannot be entirely dismissed. Still, the discovery of DMS on K2-18B marks a pivotal moment in the ongoing search to answer one of humanity's deepest questions. Are we the only living beings in the universe? While the finding doesn't yet confirm life, it introduces exciting opportunities for future study. Research into Hycean planets like K2-18B may redefine our understanding of where and how life could develop. With continuing technological progress and improvements in space observation, the chances of detecting life beyond Earth are becoming increasingly realistic. Our efforts to unveil the mysteries of K2-18b are just beginning. Ongoing missions from both ground-based and space telescopes will persist in monitoring this intriguing planet. With each new discovery, we edge closer to understanding not only the nature of distant planetary systems, but also the possibility that life exists elsewhere in the universe. One thing is becoming clearer. The cosmos is far more complex and astonishing than we ever imagined. As research into K2-18b progresses, scientists remain both hopeful and cautious. Each new piece of data gathered by the James Webb Space Telescope adds to a growing mosaic of understanding, yet also introduces new layers of complexity. The presence of compounds such as methane, carbon dioxide, and possibly dimethyl sulfide sparks both enthusiasm and scientific rigor. These substances, while potentially tied to biological activity, may also originate from geological or chemical processes that are not yet fully understood in extraterrestrial contexts. This dual possibility underscores the necessity for careful interpretation and repeated observation. Future studies will aim to strengthen the evidence for these chemical signatures. One way to do this is by increasing the number of observations during transit events. By collecting more light data as the planet passes in front of its host star, astronomers can refine their measurements, reduce noise, and improve the statistical significance of the detected molecules. Additionally, new algorithms and modeling techniques are being developed to interpret spectral data more accurately, helping researchers differentiate between biological and non-biological sources of atmospheric compounds. Understanding K2-18BS environment also depends on better knowledge of its star, K2-18. Red dwarfs are known for their high levels of stellar activity, including flares that can strip away planetary atmospheres 
or bombard them with radiation. However, some red dwarfs are relatively quiet, emitting stable energy levels over long periods. If K2-18 is one of the calmer varieties, this would improve the chances for atmospheric stability on K2-18b and raise the likelihood that life-sustaining conditions exist there. Further monitoring of the star's behavior is necessary to clarify this aspect. The exploration of K2-18b also prompts broader questions about the diversity of potentially habitable planets in the universe. Until recently, the search for life focused primarily on Earth-like planets with rocky surfaces and thin atmospheres. However, discoveries like K2-18b are expanding our horizons. Scientists now realize that planets unlike anything in our solar system, those with thick hydrogen-rich atmospheres and extensive oceans, might offer equally viable environments for life. These revelations are reshaping the criteria used to evaluate planetary habitability and guiding future mission priorities. Space agencies and research institutions around the world are already planning the next generation of telescopes that will take this work even further. Instruments like the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, in Chile and NASA's upcoming Habitable Worlds Observatory, will possess the sensitivity and resolution required to analyze the atmospheres of smaller and more distant exoplanets with unprecedented precision. These tools will not only refine what we know about K2-18b, but also expand the catalog of worlds where life could theoretically exist. In parallel, computer simulations and laboratory experiments on Earth are helping scientists understand how life might adapt to the extreme conditions believed to exist on Hycean planets. From acidic oceans to high pressures and warm temperatures, such environments might seem hostile by terrestrial standards, yet they could still harbor resilient forms of life. Extremophiles, organisms that thrive in Earth's most inhospitable environments, serve as real-world analogs, offering insights into what alien life might look like and how it could survive. Ultimately, K2-18b represents more than a single planetary system under study. It symbolizes a new era in the quest to understand our place in the cosmos. Each discovery made their paves the way for broader insights into the conditions under which life may arise. Whether or not life is ever confirmed on this particular world, its investigation will yield valuable knowledge that informs our search across the galaxy. The idea that life could exist in environments so different from our own challenges long held assumptions and invites us to consider the universe with greater imagination and humility. K2-18b, once just a distant point of light, now stands as a beacon in the search for answers to some of our most profound questions. As technology, science, and curiosity converge, humanity inches closer to a possible turning point in our understanding of life beyond Earth. The next chapter of this journey will not only deepen our comprehension of distant worlds, but also illuminate the incredible adaptability and potential of life itself.